A little while ago, I created some profiles in Intune to onboard my device, my Mac device, to Defender for Endpoint. It didn't work because I had missed a step, and so I created a new video explaining how you do that. Check out that video if you're interested. Once I got this device into Defender for Endpoint, it's now time to start configuring it so that it gets antivirus configuration from Intune. Let's take a look at how we do that. From the Intune Admin Center, here's my Mac, and if we head into Defender for Endpoint, hopefully we'll see this Mac device also in Defender for Endpoint. Just choose Devices, scroll down, and we should see Dean's MacBook Air. There it is there. Active, healthy, ready to go. Now we need to push some configuration to this device. I'm going to choose to go back to the Intune Admin Center. I'm going to choose Device Configuration. You can see we have a few device configurations here, but not anything to do with actually configuring antivirus. So, Endpoint Security. Let's choose Antivirus. Scroll down to Create Policy. The platform, in this case, is macOS. And the profile, you can see we've got a couple of options here. One of them is configuring antivirus. The other one is configuring antivirus exclusions. I'm going to go with antivirus first. I'm going to choose antivirus preview. Choose create. And we'll give it a name. We'll choose next. And let's take a look at the settings we have available to us. So the first ones are cloud delivered protection features. The options for this one are disabled, enabled, or not configured. Not configured will mean that it's set to on by default, but the user can turn it off if they like, like I did in the previous video. So for now, I want to choose enabled because cloud delivered protection for Defender for Endpoint is really important because a lot of the features that we're getting from that expensive Defender for Endpoint subscription and are enabled through cloud delivered protection. So we'll turn that on. We also like giving back. So let's do automatic sample sub submission anonymized samples of threats that have been found in the environment are sent back to Microsoft to help your organization and other organizations from a security perspective. Diagnostic collection level, this is where we can say that we want to give Microsoft information around just the required elements or also send the optional elements of diagnostics to Microsoft to help improve the service. I'm going to go with optional. And do also do we want to enable automatic security intelligence updates? That sounds like a good idea to me. Let's let's enable that. Okay, so the antivirus engine itself, we want to enable real-time protection and also configure this to not be running in passive mode. I don't have any other antivirus solution on my device, so I want to make sure that Defender for Endpoint is running in active mode and actually defending against threats. Next, we have the scan history size. This is where we can say how how many entries are are kept in the scan history for our devices. By default, it's 10,000, and we can set that anywhere from 5,000 to 15,000. I'm gonna leave with a default of, of 10,000. And scan results retention. This allows us to specify the number of days that scan results are retained for. Again, the default is around 90 days or something long enough for me. So next, we will leave that as not configured. Next, exclusions merge. I don't want to allow users to create local exclusions and merge them with the Intune policy that I'm deploying. So I'm going to go with admin only to make sure that only my settings are deployed to the device and not merged with any local settings. In my view, that could be a threat against the device. Scan exclusions. I'm not going to configure any exclusions. In this case, I don't really know what I'm going to be using on this device. So we need to do some discovery on that in the future. And threat type settings. We get to specify exactly what action we'll take in the event of a threat type being discovered. So for example, in the event that I pick up a potentially unwanted application, in this case, it's set to audit. I'm actually gonna go with audit because that gives us an opportunity to review what would be blocked without actually blocking it in the first place. Next, we can add another one, which would be archive bomb in the event that an archive bomb is detected within this environment. Again, we'll go ahead and choose audit, but that should be something you, you, you want to block in most cases. Again, we can prevent that this policy is overridden by local settings by choosing admin only here. And also we can go ahead and choose which threats are allowed by specifying them by name in this list here. Okay, so I've configured that. Now this really should be locking down our environment to make sure that only the settings we want to be set are set on our Intune devices. We'll choose next, next. Deploy to all devices, choose next. 
and create. That will head over to my Mac just now and we'll take a look at what happens when that deploys. Just going to go over to the, my Mac and choose to sync. Get that policy pushing over to my device just now. It would normally happen within around eight hours, but I don't want to wait eight hours to finish this video. So I'll go ahead and wait for that to sync. And I guess what I'm waiting for at the top here is this icon here, which says actions recommended. Uh, still cloud delivery protection is turned off and automatic sample submission is turned off. So I want to see what happens when that actually fixes itself by using the policy that I've created and pushed down via Intune. So hopefully in a few moments that will change. And yes, just within a couple of moments there, I can see that the cross or exclamation mark, I think was there before, has now turned to a tick. If I choose this, it says no action needed. We'll open up the Defender and choose, uh, where is it, Manage Settings. And it says this setting is managed by your organization and all those features are turned on, exactly what we want to see. See you next time.